So I've noticed a couple of questions that keep popping up every time I do a DJS 1000 video. They are usually, can you sync the DJS with Rekordbox or with Serato? Now the short answer is yes and yes, I think. Now a long answer, well, that's what we're gonna cover in this video today. So we already know that the Pioneer DJS 1000 has been made and designed to work perfectly with the Nexus range of DJ gear that Pioneer DJ produce. And for me in my DJ sets, it's always worked really, really well. The sync has always been solid for me, rock solid within my DJ sets. No matter what CDJ that I'm syncing it with, the DJS works perfectly well with them. But one comment that I noticed that I get under most of my videos whenever I do one on the DJS 1000 is whether it syncs with something else. And the main ones are, does it sync with Rekordbox or does it sync with Serato? And that's kind of one, what I wanted to cover in this video today. I've done some tests and that's what I want to kind of go over and show you kind of what I found out. And the answer is yes, it does sync with Rekordbox. And yes, I think it does sync with Serato as well. But let's cover Rekordbox to start with. And actually, let's talk about the brand new release of Rekordbox, Rekordbox 6. Now, if you're worried about doing the upgrade from 5 to 6, then, well, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it is a good update. I've been using it for a few days and it seems to be rock solid for me. The conversion, the whatever it is, the migration from your old library to your new library worked perfectly fine. Everything seems to be okay in there for me. But what I noticed with the release notes for this new version of Rekordbox, Rekordbox 6, is that it now includes Ableton Link. Now, Ableton Link is the key part in being able to get the DJS to sync with Rekordbox and also actually Serato as well, but we'll come on to that a little bit later. So with Rekordbox 6, you now have Ableton Link built into this. You can't actually sync the DJS 1000 with just Rekordbox alone. I'm not quite sure why. It's a bit of a strange thing. Maybe it's just because they haven't thought of using the DJS in that way. Maybe Pioneer just haven't built it in. But you can achieve this with Ableton Link. So this does require you having a copy of Ableton. Now, if you're already kind of getting on board with the DJS, then odds are you probably have some kind of production experience or at least some interest in production. So you might even have ventured into the world of Ableton anyway, but you can actually get away with actually just the base level of Ableton, Ableton Intro, which is the cheapest version of Ableton. That actually includes Ableton Link. So what is Ableton Link? If you've never heard of it before, basically Ableton Link is something that Ableton made to be able to communicate with other applications and keep them in time. Now, as I say, Rekordbox built this into version six and you can enable it really easily. All you need to do is hit the link button on the toolbar within Rekordbox 6 and that will then activate it within the software. That's as easy as it is. That's all you need to do within the software within Rekordbox. The next thing to do is then to launch Ableton if you haven't got it open already and then hit the link button in the top left hand corner of Ableton. If you can't see the link button within Ableton, then open up the Ableton preferences, go to the link MIDI tab and make sure that show link toggle is set to show. So you'll now see the two applications start talking to each other. So in Rekordbox, that link box now says one link. And over in Ableton, it also says one link. They're basically linked together. And also within Ableton, you'll also see an animation happening within the arrangement position box. This is basically just showing the state of the sync between the two. And it also represents that in Rekordbox as well with that little blue line that keeps filling up in that box. So both applications are now in sync. If we go back to Rekordbox, we can now load a track onto one of the decks within Rekordbox and you'll see the sync button that is usually there is now called a link button. That's because our link, this Ableton link, is now becoming the master deck, if you like. And every track that we load in is now going to be synced to that. Now we can activate that or deactivate that whenever we want to. So all we need to do is hit the link button, it will glow blue, and that means it will then be in sync with the rest of the Ableton link that's going on. And if we adjust the tempo on that deck, everything else will change. So you'll notice that when you adjust the tempo on that playing track, Ableton will also go up and down in BPM. 
So we now have Recordbox and Ableton working nicely together. Let's get the DJS 1000 in on that action. And the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to plug it in via USB. So on the back of the DJS 1000, you'll notice there is a USB port. This is usually used for linking it to a laptop and using the Pro Link within Recordbox. But today we're actually going to use the DJS 1000 as a MIDI controller, or at least interface as a USB MIDI controller. And we're actually going to set it up within Ableton. So once you have the DJS 1000 connected via USB to your computer, you can then go to Ableton and head to the preferences. Under the link MIDI tab, you can then set up the DJS 1000 as a control surface. It should automatically be recognized and you can select it from the drop down list. Now we only really need to set it up as an output, but you can set it up as an input if you want to. Next, head down to the MIDI ports and for the output, make sure you turn on sync and remote. You also want to make sure that you have start, stop, sync, turn to on. OK, so that's Ableton all set up and ready. Let's move on to the DJS 1000. So the first thing we need to do is actually make sure all the MIDI settings are correct. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the utility menu by holding down the home button. Then I'm going to go down to the MIDI section and then just make sure that all these MIDI settings are correct. You might have changed them. They might be slightly different as default, but just make sure that the clock start, stop, continue, note, and song position are all enabled for MIDI in. Next up, we'll hit home to go back. And now we're going to change the sync settings. So I'm going to hit the sync button and I'm going to switch Pro DJ Link over to MIDI. And then I'm going to select USB MIDI instead of DIN MIDI. And again, I'll hit home. Now, if I go back to Ableton and hit play, you should now see the DJS 1000 start to sync with Ableton. And if I hit play on one of the decks, and then start to adjust the BPM. You'll see both Ableton and the DJS also adjust accordingly. Now the DJS will only keep sync whilst Ableton is in play mode. So even though you have link active, it won't actually start syncing until you hit play within Ableton. And that's basically how you do it. That's how you set up the DJS 1000 to sync with Recordbox. And I've been playing around with it for the last few hours and it actually works quite well. I've tried different tracks. I've tried adjusting the BPM. And to be honest, the DJS 1000 keeps sync quite well. Now, it's not going to be as good as the Nexus system for keeping sync between decks because that was really specifically designed for this. We're actually using a third party piece of software here to keep everything in time. And we're actually using MIDI clock, which isn't going to be as accurate as using the same stuff in the Pioneer kind of ecosystem, but it still does work quite well. So if you have a DJS 1000 and you do use Recordbox, then I definitely recommend giving it a go and playing around with it. See if it works for you. As I say, you will need Ableton to do it, but you can get away with Ableton intro, which is actually the cheapest version of Ableton. And yeah, at least allows you to play around with it and see if it works within your sets. Now, as I say, this is getting Recordbox to work with Ableton with Ableton Link. And that brings me on to Serato. Now, Serato has that same link button that Recordbox now has. But in fact, Serato's had that link feature for a lot, lot longer. So in theory, you could go through exactly the same steps as I've done in this video, but with Serato instead. So linking Serato to Ableton and then Ableton to the DJS 1000. So in theory, it should all work. Now, I've downloaded a trial version of Serato, but unfortunately, as I don't have any Serato hardware, I can't actually try out that link feature. So I don't know whether for sure that it works. Works. But in theory, if it works the same as Recordbox works with Ableton, and which it should do because it's Ableton Link, they all work the same, that's the whole idea of it, then yes, this whole idea should work with Serato as well. So to answer the two questions that we start this video with, can you sync the DJS 1000 to Recordbox and Serato? 
Well, yes, you can do. It does require Ableton as a kind of go-between, as a kind of middle place, as a way of kind of controlling both. But yes, you can get it to work. So I definitely recommend giving it a go. If you do have DJS 1000 and Recordbox or Serato, then definitely give it a go. And leave your results in the comments below. Let me know how you get on, what kind of things you face, any questions you've got, or anything else like that. I'd be really interested to find out, you know, how you get on with it. But as I say, at least it works. We know it works. So yeah, hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, then definitely subscribe to my channel. I've got a whole load more DJS 1000 content on my channel and a whole load more other stuff. So definitely get subscribed, hit that notification bell so you're notified the moment I upload a brand new video. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next one.